Using the Easy Pro Dowling Jig, the steps for surface doweling are pretty much the same as we used for putting surface holes into a corner joint. In this case, we also need to reset the stop collar on our drill bit. For a surface hole, we don't want to go more than one half of an inch deep so we don't penetrate through the other side. So we want to set the stop collar at one and a half inches, which accounts for the one inch depth of the guide bushing and jig itself. So we set the stop collar one and a half inches, and then when we drill our end holes, which can be deeper, which will be deeper, we set the stop collar at a full two inches. So let's say we wanted to join shelves to a vertical style in the middle of the board. Something like that. You start by marking the positions of the dowels on the intersecting or shelf boards. In this case we're going to come in one inch from each end and the center. And once again we want to extend our lines, in this case a full three and a half inches to allow for the alignment of the jig when we drill our surface holes. So we've got our, our, line, our jig position marks for the end holes, the dowel end holes, and when we put the jig on, we'll drill these holes. For the horizontal holes, say we want to place a shelf right here. For our horizontal line, we have another shelf to make for our horizontal line. And in this case, we want to transfer the centers to the line, the dowel centers to the line. So we get our marks here. That's where each of the dowels will go. Extend those lines down. We have a good registration mark for our jig. Next, we have to place a second mark, a second horizontal line exactly 15 sixteenths of an inch above the shelf mark. 15 sixteenths right there, same thing with this one. 15 sixteenths. Another horizontal line. The second line, the 15 sixteenths line, will be used as a registration line when we place our jig and bore the holes for the surface dowels, which we'll show in the next step. Now we have a shelf marked out. This is the center line of the shelf, this horizontal line. The 15 sixteenths horizontal line is the registration line for the doweling jig. And these vertical lines mark the center of each dowel. So to place a dowel here, here, and here, we would put position the jig flat on his back with the thumb screw up and facing you on the board so that its front edge lines up with the 15 16 registration mark and the v-notch on the front aligns with the dowel center as well as the v-notch on the back. Now we can hold the jig in place when we bore the hole or right on this this uh, registration mark or we can take a second piece of wood and clamp it on the registration mark to use as a stop if uh, you're at all worried about the jig moving around. Whenever we're doing surface doweling of this sort, of this type of operation, the, we use the right hand hole, the right hand hole in the inside face for our guide bushing. Right, now with the, uh, with the guide bushing in place and the jig positioned so that the front edge is right on our, reg our 15 16 registration mark, the front V-notch is on the dowel center line, the back notch is also positioned on the dowel center line, we're ready to begin drilling. You, if you can see in here, the, um, 
The guide bushing is positioned directly over the center of the board, of the shelf board location, and right on the dowel center. Now with our stop collar reset to the one and a half inch depth, we bore straight in until the stop collar meets the guide bushing. Move the jig to the next position. Again, flush with the registration mark, V-lines on the corresponding dowel center holes. Finish up with, in this case, the last hole. Hold the jig firmly in place. And those are our dowel holes for the shelf board. Now we need to cut, we need to drill the end dowels into the mating shelf. We've already got our center lines positioned. Remove the guide bushing from the inside position. Run the thumb screw down so we can clamp it to the wood. And we position, as we did before, the guide with the V-notch on the center. Tighten the clamp. Jig is now secure on the board. We're going back to the middle hole, which is for three quarter inch stock. And we'll bore each of these holes for the end dowels. So we'll the work piece. Got the jig clamped in place. We have to reset the depth of our stop collar to two inches in this case, which accounts for the thickness of the guide bushing and the jig. Good. And then we bore out the reposition so the notch is aligned with our centers. Tighten the clamp. Last hole. Centered on the V notch. Clamp tightened. And there we have our shelf location. It's as easy as that.